the science, technology, engineering and mathematics, also known as the STEM industry, is growing. Therefore, we need more workers in this industry in Singapore. Some of you might think that in this industry is largely for men. But do you know that there's increasing amount of women pursuing degree in this area as well? Think about it. Hi, I'm Hui Chen and let me tell you why I chose this industry. So when I was growing up, uh, my family was not doing well. So there were days where electricity, water supply were being cut off completely. As a kid, I was bored, so I would head down to the playground and mingle with the kids. So there was one day I encountered a group of um, boys actually playing Tamiya cars. So I got curious on how does the Tamiya car function and how it's being built. That's when my initial engineering uh, interest got intrigued. I was in normal academic stream in secondary school and I enjoyed D&T and science classes uh, mainly because of the hands-on practical lessons. So this actually um, led me to have more hands-on experience for engineering related um, topics. So D&T was one of my top favourite classes actually. Uh, in Polytechnic, um, I would never say any course is actually easy, but uh, if your interest is in it, it helps you to understand the course easily. Since there's an interest in it, you'll pay more attention to the course itself. Since I enrolled myself into engineering school, right, my mom had the assumption that I should do the hardware fixing at home. So uh, whenever the light bulb is spoiled or anything, she would approach me and say, oh, girl, I can you even change the light bulb and all. So I become the handyman for my house. I'm very grateful to my parents for the person that I am today because they have never pressured me um, in, into anything academically or anything in life. What they want me to be is to be happy and focus on what I have in my, like, uh, my interests, uh, my mental well-being, etc. I told myself uh, when I grow up, I want to do well and um, well enough to support them um, financially so that <laughs> they don't have to work hard anymore. <laughs> yeah, and so that they can, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> so that they can re retire comfortably and uh, not to worry about any financial problems in life anymore. Mm. So Hui Chen joined me under the inspection team uh, in our company and uh, uh, for all these years, right, I noticed her as a very detailed uh, person, as an engineer. She's not just following instructions but also contributing her own ideas. We were together in a very critical project to find those defects. We need to collect images from the product, uh, thousands of images and then evaluate the performance in order to select the best one. Unfortunately, didn't see a very good result and repeat the process. And this actually takes a lot of uh, time. Yes. Mid times, mid midnight times. Yes. Which can actually show a very uh, never give up attitude, uh, resilience. So these are very important uh, characteristics for all the engineers. So generally, we have been working very well, um, having the success together, right? Yep. Good job, Christian. How are you? So, I have a bigger dream, uh, which is to be a poly lecturer in an engineering school. My family um, brought us up with the idea of helping others as much as we can. And by being a poly lecturer, it allows me to teach and help the students to gain more knowledge. So, this is my way to give back to the society so I can inspire more youth to be a young engineer of tomorrow. 
engineering is ever changing and this is what excites me. My advice to students is, with interest and purpose, you can achieve your dreams. If I can do it, so can you. Always believe in yourself.